Hey everyone, how you all doing? Right, I've got to get this off my chest. You'll notice behind me, you've got Nigel Farage, you've got Boris Johnson. So why am I standing them next to each other like this? Well, it's simple. One of them has claimed responsibility for another one's hard work. Who do you think that one is? It's Bojo, of course. Nigel Farage was campaigning vigorously for 10 years to get the UK out of the European Union and gave all the reasons under the sun as to why we should be leaving the European Union at that time, mainly because the European Union were not exactly straight and true. But Boris Johnson saw an opportunity. Nigel Farage created this wave and people got on this wave and it got larger and larger and larger. And it was this momentum that Boris saw. And he then thought, what an opportunity this is for me. And he hijacked Nigel Farage's hard work, his 10 years of campaigning, culminating in having to stand down his candidates because he knew very, very well that he would have split the vote. And Nigel did not want this. So he stood down his candidates and this allowed Boris Johnson to get in. If Nigel had been selfish, which he wasn't, but had he have gone down the selfish route, it's likely that the Lib Dems and Labour would have been in. So Boris Johnson is not a good prime minister. What he is, he is someone who sees an opportunity and doesn't mind claiming credit for someone else's diligence and hard work. In this case, it was Nigel Farage's hard work, which Boris hijacked. Now, I don't know the man personally, but I do know that if you bring in his personal life, which I think at this stage now, it's only fair we do, there was evidence that he was never a trustworthy person. But people gave him the benefit of the doubt. And what did he do? He failed to deliver. He failed to deliver on the basic things like, can he be trusted? And now we know he can't be. And he could never be trusted. And Dominic Cummings was right about him. Dominic Cummings obviously was on the inside, the inner circle, and he knew what a buffoon, an absolute fool Boris Johnson was. He knew that his, bust, his bluster and his um, bungling personality was him in a way, but also an act. It was an act to hook people. And he was nothing more than a distraction. And you could say the same about Biden. He's a, he's a fool, we all know he is. He has Alzheimer's, he can't string his words together. And yet, they keep pushing him forward, don't they? And they are actually insulting people's intelligence by doing this because everybody knows that behind Biden are a team of people that are manipulating him. Just like a marionette, yeah. So Biden's there. They're lifting up his left hand, his right hand. They're moving him along like that. They're telling him what to say with an idiot card. And the world is just accepting it. Why? Why are we accepting this outright lie? We all know that he did not win by fair means. We all know that. Dead people can't vote. But the powers that be had decided that Trump was going nowhere. And it's them that's ruling the world, isn't it? It's those earthly hordes that quite enjoy messing with our mind and our psyche.
So all I've got to say now on the Boris is uh, the shortest Prime Minister. That's correct, isn't it? If they don't allow him to continue and lurk in the shadows, which I wouldn't, <laughs> I would say that's it. You're out of here and get someone new in and up, keep him in the dark. And I would advise not to have him in Parliament again because he's a disgrace. Taking Nigel's hard work and calling it his own. You don't have to be a fan of Nigel Farage, but you, one thing you have to recognise, that man was Lone Wolf McQuaid for 10 years in the European Union. It took its toll on his relationships. It almost destroyed him. But he knew the European Union could not be trusted. He knew we'd be better off away from them. And he sacrificed... 10 years of his life to achieve that. But then we have a fool come along and just take the best bits of what he can use to win over the British people, the best bits, and throw the rest back at Nigel. And that's the kind of person that Boris was. Not very nice. Thank you.